it's Rosalind Reynolds here with lesson number three about making a move. When you are moving, faced with that choice, and you're downsizing like I am, you most likely will need a storage unit. And I have found some things that were really important in finding a storage unit for myself. And the two things that I think are most important to consider are the safety and the accessibility. I definitely wanted a place where I would feel safe when I'm going to put things in or get things out because I know I'm going to be having to access it several times, many times, throughout the period of time when I'm in my small apartment that I'm moving to. So I wanted a place that I felt was very secure. So the storage unit that I chose has an entry gate and the way that you get in is you put in your secret code that you develop that nobody else knows and then the gate opens, you drive in, the gate closes. Then you get to the building itself and you use a, a code to enter the building. And then you have locks on your individual section that your things are stored in. So I felt it was very secure. And I'll have some other videos showing you. I actually take you to the storage unit and give you an idea what it's like. My second consideration was accessibility. I wanted to be able to get there whenever I needed. The one that I chose is open from 7 in the morning until 10 at night. And that's pretty much, I think that's great accessibility. I don't think I'll need to be getting there at any other time. And they have, the door entryway is flush with the, the driving area, with the street. And so I can get my boxes in over that without having to go up over a ledge. They have these really handy carts that I can load everything on right from the car, push the cart into the building and up to my storage unit. So it's very accessible. I found that was really important and so helpful for me. The last thing that I needed to decide on was whether or not to get a climate controlled unit. And it was only a few dollars more a month. And I decided to do so because I'll be storing some things in there that might be affected if the climate got too extreme. So those are my tips for choosing a storage unit. Choose for safety, especially if you're a woman alone. Choose for accessibility and decide if you're going to need a climate controlled unit or not. So watch for my other videos that I have where I take you to the storage unit and give you an idea of what's possible out there. There are some that are pretty scary looking and this one I felt really good with. So this is Rosalind Reynolds. Go to my website, heartbreaktohealing.com and get some ideas for moving through your own personal journey. And if you're moving, keep watching these videos that I'm giving you tips and helps to make that move. This is Rosalind, hoping to help you find hope and healing and happiness once more.